Well, year-round color and low maintenance, those were two of the goals that uh, the homeowner had in mind today as we visit Centerville, Michigan. Centerville is a nice little town, isn't it, Mark? Yes, it is, and we've got a beautiful house here behind us. Well, I really like this, and I tell you what, the homeowner, Pam, has really nailed it with the look here. Love what you've done. <laughs> well, thank you. Craig, we're anchoring uh, the corner of uh, the house here with this beautiful weeping cherry tree, which uh, blooms in the springtime. And for additional pop of color, we've got uh, these uh, burgundy leaf uh, coral bells down around uh, the base. And I wanted to have this design so Pam can be sitting here on the front porch, enjoying the seasonal color. When uh, those coral bells bloom in the springtime, they are hummingbird magnets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you've done a really great job, as we mentioned, and Mark, it is a simplistic view, but certainly one that has a lot of elements to it. Well, thank you. Uh, for some uh, year-round color and interest, we've got this little dwarf Linesville Arbivita uh, for evergreen color. And then these beautiful hydrangeas, they're in their glory right now. Uh, they start blooming late spring. They bloom the entire summertime and up until uh, the fall. And because of uh, this front porch and because of the beautiful stonework here, we wanted to go with dwarf plantings that stay low and really won't block any of the, uh -huh. the View. And those hydrangeas are only going to get bigger and better, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Anchoring uh, the corner of the porch here with this little red Japanese lace leaf maple. And then down around uh, the base of mm -hmm. that, we've got some perennial flowers. There are Coreopsis. And uh, those will be blooming uh, later on with little yellow bell shaped uh, flowers. Uh -huh. Pam really likes the dwarf <laughs> plantings, and you've got a good one here. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, for another uh, uh, year round color, we've got a dwarf evergreen here. It's a dwarf Hinoki cypress. I love them because they repel mosquitoes, our low maintenance knockout roses, which bloom and bloom and bloom all throughout the season. And then anchoring uh, the corner here with our little dwarf lilac tree, which has fragrant flowers. Mm -hmm. Any challenges along the side here? You know what, uh, we did actually all the way around uh, the house and uh, the opposite side of the house had uh, some utilities there. And so we strategically did uh, some plant placement to help hide those utilities. I see. I also see there might be a pool back there. Huh? I'm excited to share uh, with you the pool along with the viewers. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Well, Mark, you were right about the swimming pool. That is a nice one. Oh, it's absolutely uh, beautiful. I'd love to have a backyard like this. Uh, homeowner uh, likes to do entertaining, and uh, she's got this uh, set up. Uh, large uh, swimming pool, large pool deck around here. And with all this uh, beautiful low-maintenance vinyl fencing, we needed to have some plantings to soften it. And you've done a nice job with your selection here today. Tell us a little bit well, about that. Well, thank huh? you. Uh, because uh, predominantly uh, pool seasons during the warmer uh, months in that uh, we concentrated on uh, uh, predominantly summer colors. Uh, we have our uh, low maintenance uh, roses uh, which are in their glory all throughout the summertime. In addition uh, to that uh, they're blooming in the spring and fall. Got dwarf repeat uh, blooming uh, dailies which will continue to bloom throughout the season. As a focal point here, this little miniature tree is a uh, Rose of Sharon, and they'll have carnation-like type of uh, flowers, uh, which will add another pop of uh, mm -hmm. color. Is it a good idea, Mark, to continue the ground cover selection from front to back? I notice you do that That's a, a lot. great question. And um, we did that because uh, this uh, stone ground cover has kind of some blues and grays in it. Mm -hmm. It ties in really nice with exterior of uh, the house, but uh, quite honestly, the number one reason uh, for this is it's low, low maintenance. We put down a woven fabric weed barrier, lets water go through, but prevents weeds from coming up. And gotcha. Pam is going to get to have about 20, 25 years worth of uh, use out of uh, this ground cover. And low maintenance was really important to her. Fantastic. Well, I see you put in some new side, too. <laughs> yes, and uh, because we've got a lot of area with the pool deck, we wanted to tone down uh, the look of the concrete. And so we've got our fresh cut side back here. Mm -hmm. uh, the family also has a dog. I'm a dog owner. <laughs> I know and, you are. Uh, you know, you got to have a place let the dog out and uh, this is probably the most beautiful dog run I've ever uh, seen in my entire That's life. Cool, You bet. Craig we've got some of our uh, very popular uh, uh, vanilla strawberry hydrangeas here that uh, feature both uh, pink and white colored flowers. Uh, the pink contrasts nice up against uh, the white fence. Sure does. We've got our red knockout roses again we're looking for color contrast and then uh, we've got weeping uh, cherry trees in each uh, corner just to add uh, some uh, height 
great, and uh, that's something that blooms in the springtime. Homeowner's gonna be able to look out uh, the rear kitchen window and uh, see those in bloom. Uh -huh. And then finally, we have uh, these ornamental grasses. These are maiden grasses. They're gonna get to be about five, six feet in height and have 10 feathery plumes in uh, the fall. Beautiful. Beautiful. I bet Pam just loves what you've done, huh? <laughs> she does, and uh, I'd like to invite her out here and, uh, and so she can chat with you. All righty. Well, Pam is the homeowner here in Centerville, Michigan, and Pam, congratulations. Beautiful job here. I love Thank your you. home. Thank you very much. We've just been in for a year, so this has been fantastic. You've done a really nice job. What do you like most about what Linton's did in the landscape design? Uh, I think having Mark come in and really see what the house looked like and what I was interested in. I really don't know much about landscaping or plants <laughs> in general, and so he really listened and um, I love the dwarf trees and the hydrangeas are absolutely my favorite. So you've become a master gardener through this process, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Working on it. Well, it's beautiful. It truly is. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to bring Mark on. He's got a little surprise here for you, if you don't mind. Mark? Pam, just wanted to thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity uh, to work for you and also to share this beautiful property, beautiful house uh, with all the viewers out there. Well, thank you, Mark. <laughs> it's been a wonderful experience and your team has done an amazing job. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Mark, did you catch the top here? <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's all decked out with flowers. So. Uh, fantastic. Thanks thank again, you. Pam. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Hey, if you'd like to find out more about Linton's, of course, the landscape design pros are ready to hear from you. Give them a call or go online at Linton's.com. Hey, much more coming up on our program. Stay with us. We'll be right back.